Hey there, my friend, Perry Tinsley here. The other day, I was on a call where a lady, she was sharing her journey and her goals of the choices that she was making, uh, her health journey, where she, she was basing them on longevity. She's like, man, um, I, I, I want to have a long, healthy life. It isn't just about a certain weight that I want to drop. And so she started making some decisions, especially when it came to foods. And she had been sharing some of the fun shifts that she was having. And the thing was, as she's, as she's sharing, I, I could relate to so many of them as I started on my journey, because a lot of times it ends up being like this education, right? That sparked an idea for this podcast. So let's talk about making better food choices. Stay tuned. Hey there, my friend. Welcome to another Power Blast podcast where we provide nourishment for the soul, allowing you to transform from the inside out, providing you rapid results in mindset and fitness so that you can recharge your battery and reclaim your power. Listening for that big echo effect of the explosion. Before we get into all that, though, I, I, I want to share some great things before, but uh, with you today um, about about food, making make, making healthy food choices. Before we get into all this stuff about food, make sure you get over to my calendar at talktoperry.com. Uh, my calendar is wide open for podcast viewers like you, and it's all about keeping the energy high so that you can reach your goal. And I want to help you recharge your battery and reclaim your power. And we'll do that in 15 minutes. That's over at talktoperry.com. So I loved listening to my friend the other day share her journey. Now, the thing is, she, she had a recent health scare. And so, so she started making making some different choices for herself and changes, and especially when it came to what sort of foods and drinks that she put into her body. And she, she, as she's sharing that she's shifting her image, like I, I, I am, I'm a non-drinker. You know, it isn't. She wasn't saying I quit alcohol. She's like, no, I don't drink alcohol. I'm a non-drinker. And so that I thought that was interesting. But mainly when she was making her food choices, she was talking about you know it's like more veggies, lean proteins, healthy fats. I love it because it's keeping it simple, right? But what I was curious was hearing about how she was going about her research. You know, she began asking questions. Is this food or or drink going to fuel me and help me have a life that is healthy? Or is it going to take me away from that? And I'm like, I did that too. Is this working for me or against me? Those are the words I use. So she shared a funny story about Diet Coke. She's like, you know, I love having the occasional Diet Coke, you know, let it pour it in the glass and all that and have, have the fizz go and whatever. Um... But she said, you know, I wondered. So I went and Googled, what are the health benefits of Diet Coke? Now, you and me, we're, we're probably laughing, going, well, probably nothing. But it, she did. She researched it and probably got a boatload more of information of why there wasn't any health benefits to that. But the interesting thing is, I don't know that a lot of us will do the research, I think a lot of times we leave things up to trust and, and, and having faith that something's going to be some, something we think is healthy. You know, do we know it is? You know, what are some things we can do to know, to, to, to actually be in total faith about it? You know, you know, how valuable is it to do some research? Well, those are some things that I went through. You know, when I first started, I was, I was bringing in a lot of these healthy things into my, into my house. I'm like, you know what? healthier version of pizza, healthier version of burgers, a great way to make fries, uh, healthier breads, healthier cereals. And what I ended up learning was I was being deceived by a lot of the marketing and gimmicks out there. Now, I have to take responsibility for that. You know, it, it's really easy to point the finger and blame, you know, all this stuff. It's like, you know what? I could have done my own research. Why didn't I? So I'm grateful to have had the experience to find out if certain foods work for me or against me, you know, so a lot of times because I ate it and just felt horrible about it. Um, or sometimes it was just like, you know, I, I think out there sometimes, at least it, I can speak from my experience, but I think this happens with a lot of people. We just don't want to know. I don't want to know what's in there. I just want to believe it's okay and believe it's healthy. Um, and, and, and I just want to, and so we kind of go down the ignorance is bliss path. Right. But, what is actually, you know, what what is actually the nutritious stuff that's there, and what's being marketed as nutritious, but really isn't? So, so here's some tips that I that I've learned over the years. Take it for what 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 you will here. Um, read, be an ingredient list reader. You know, I know it's kind of a pain, takes a little bit of time, but it's really educational. 
you know, read the ingredients list. And a lot of times, as I'm, you know, while I read the nutrition facts, I'll go down to the ingredients list and usually the top two or three items are big eye openers because those those will be what the most quantity is. They're listed in the order of most quantity in there. So if it says high fructose corn, corn syrup, enriched wheat flour, a few other shady ingredients out there, it's probably not the most nutritious option. You know, th then you get to make the decision. Is this something I want to put in my body or not? Um, as you scan the label, you know, I'm, I'm looking at um, the types of fats in there. You know, are there polyunsaturated, monounsaturated fats? And I, I can't say I'm a nutritionist, you know, to tell you exactly what to look for there. But that's what I'm skimming for. And I'm eliminating anything that's got, um, oh, what what is it that called the, the trans fats that are in there? Um, looking at those things that are like, oh, my gosh, that's I can't even pronounce those words. Right. Um, I also scan for the sodium content and the sugar. And at the very top, it will tell you how many servings are in that package. So sometimes you know, the other day I was bought these like chicken sausages and we were going to put them on the grill and notice that the sodium content was like 800 um, milligrams. And I'm like, wow, that seems like a lot. And that was just for one. I'm like, oh my gosh, I just ate two, almost had three. <laughs> and so, so it, it's like, wow, it, it, eye opener to just go back and say, you know what? That's on me. I, I need need to do better next time. Um, look, at, there's misleading packaging, all sorts of terms out there. I mean, this, this is kind of a short list that comes to mind, but all natural, light, multigrain, um, even organic uh, gets thrown out there. No sugar added, low calorie, low carb, low fat. I'm sure you've seen them, right? Um, when in doubt, you know, opt for the the whole foods. You know, sometimes the just the ingredients in our foods, um, if you if you do notice them, they can be very energy draining. And I'm all about helping you keep your energy high. That's why I tell people hop on my calendar, book a recharge call at talktoperry.com because I want to hear your goals. I want to hear what's working for you. Any struggles that you're working through, anything that's become an energy drain for you, for, for you, and and I'll tell you within 15 minutes of us talking together which direction is going to be the best for you and where you're going to get the best result from, so that you can recharge your battery and reclaim your power. And you'll walk away with three strategies so that you can uh, re you you can boost your energy, reclaim your time, make you the priority. So think about this: How would your life look different? If your battery was running at 100% every single day, and a, lot, and a lot of times we're scrambling around like a cell phone that's about to go at 1%, where's my charger? Where's my charger? Oh my gosh, when it's 100%, you don't even have worry. You don't even care where the socket's at, right? So head over to talktoperry.com. Another thing I learned, I didn't know this right away, maybe you did, was to shop the perimeter of the grocery store. And the healthier options tend to be there. I won't say all the time. But grocery stores are very strategic on where they place their foods. Companies pay big money to have their products prominently displayed where you're going to see them and hopefully buy them, right? So take a look next time. Here's just a little fun thing, unless you're probably shopping at Whole Foods or something like that. When you're at the checkout aisle, are there a bunch of nutritious foods right there, nutritious options for you? Now, you might peek around and say, well, right around the corner, I could get a bottle of water or something like that. But you know what? Um, just looking at those things, just being aware. You know, I've, Those are things I've gotten better at over the years. Um, but when you become aware, and then you can make a more conscious decision about whether you want to put it in your body or whether you don't. You know, But I, I think when we make a conscious decision to ignore it, then you know the consequences are going to happen. But you can make the informed decision one way or the other when you do become informed. So which foods are going to get you closer to your goals? Which foods are going to take me away from my goals? So just know that you can use your power and take control. You can let the excuses and the justifications and you know even the, the, the marketing tactics that are out there drain your power. So decide and commit to yourself and your goals. And it's going to take time. Just choose to figure out new ways. Look at possibilities. Learn, grow, and just keep moving forward. So I'd love to hear your top takeaway from today. Drop those in the comments. I do reply to those. You absolutely rock, my friend. And as always, remember, it's never too late. We'll see you next week. That's another Power Blast podcast in the books. 
Thanks so much for tuning in. And remember, when you are ready to recharge your battery, make sure you go to TalkToPerry.com. That's TalkToPerry.com. That's P-E-R-R-Y. And I want to listen. I want to hear, you know, what's going on. I want to help you in that 15-minute call to recharge your battery and reclaim your power so that you're off and running and creating massive momentum toward your dream. Also, every day, I am delivering more motivation, support, tips, and strategies inside my free community with amazing people uh, like yourself. And we are conquering the mindset and the fitness. I do 52 weeks of free training in there, plus I coach and I mentor people, as well as give you access to tons of resources and guides. It's called my Upside Down Fitness Community because we work on a lot of mindset stuff, the inside stuff, and we're a fun group of people striving to make healthier habits in this awesome chapter of life. So uh, make sure you get in there. I promise you'll absolutely love it. Just head over to UpsideDownFit.com and you can get into the group. And hey, you would be an awesome friend if you get over to iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcast and leave an honest rating and review for the Power Last podcast. It helps awesome people like you find this show even faster. And that's who I'm looking for. Awesome people like you. That's all I have for this week, my friend. And it, just to let you know, you absolutely rock. That's all I have for this week. I'll see you on the next Power Blast podcast. And always remember, it's never too late. We'll see you next week. <laughs>